Some call it frankenfish, others a great new source of healthy food. And today, the FDA is officially calling genetically modified salmon fit for human consumption. I'm not too keen on that. I think it's kind of weird. The new salmon will come from a Canadian company called Aqua Advantage, which will hatch the eggs in Canada, then ship them to Panama to be farmed, and eventually sell the fish fillets here in the U.S. Genetically engineered salmon or genetically modified salmon is um, changing or altering the genetic material in a way that you couldn't do with traditional breeding. So in this case, it's taking genetic material from an eel, another type of salmon, and then putting that in a third type of salmon to supposedly make it grow faster. It's about time. Gregory Jaffe of the Center for Science and the Public Interest says the genetically modified salmon has been studied for years and there's no evidence it poses a health risk. Science today seems to suggest that this genetically engineered salmon is no different than its conventional counterpart. But even he admits the company selling the GM fish should make it clear to consumers something that is not required by the FDA the genetically modified fish don't have to be labeled. As a consumer, I certainly want to know what I'm getting. It's sneaky. It shouldn't be that way. If they're going to buy salmon, they should look for wild salmon because that is one way to know um, for sure that it's not genetically engineered. Julie Watts for CBS News, San Francisco.